This video explains how to add days, months, and years to a date time object in the Python programming language. So without much talk, let's dive into the Python code. In this video, I will show you an example. And for this example, we first need to import the date time module, as you can see in the first line of code. And then we also need to create a date time object using the date time constructor, as you can see in the next line of code. So after running this line of code, a new date time object called my date is created. And we can print this date time object below the code box using the print function. And then you can see that our date time object corresponds to the 6th of November 2024 at 2.36.56 p.m. Now let's assume that we want to add a certain number of days to this date time object. And then we can apply the time delta function of the date time module, as you can see in the next line of code. So in this line of code, we specify the name of our date time object. So in this case, our date time object is called my date. And then we use the plus operator to add a certain number of days to our date time. In this case, we want to add 18 days. And then we store the output of this in a new date time object that we call my date days. And then in the next step, I'm printing the content of this new data object below the code box. So as you can see, we have added 18 days to our original date time object because the new date time object is corresponding to the 24th of November 2024. And the previously created date time object was corresponding to the 6th of November 2024. It's also possible to add month and years to date time object. And for this, we first need to import relative delta from date util, as you can see in the next line of code. And then in the next step, we can add a certain number of months to our date time object using the relative delta function. So in this case, we want to add 25 months to our date time object, my date. And as in the previous example, I'm storing the output of this in a new data object that I call my date month. And I'm printing this new data object below the code box. And then you can see that we have added 25 months to our original date time object. Similar to that, we can also use the relative delta function to add a certain number of years to our date time. So in this case, I want to add 10 years to our date time object. And after running these lines of code, you can see that we have created a new daytime object called my date years, which corresponds to 10 years later compared to our input date time. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.